Morning. Morning. Welcome back to El Nido. So it's like quarter past eight. We've got up early. Even though I didn't sleep very well, we've got air con and it was absolutely freezing. <laughs> so we woke up in the middle of the night and put a jacket on, which was lovely. But we're up early because we kind of need to do some more research, I think. Today, we're going to do a really, really high zip line from one island to the other. We're going for the big dog. I mean, I think I'm going to do it. Amy's bricking it. It looks amazing. Like, you just go over the sea. How, how high is it? 650 meters or something? Uh, I have no idea how high it is, but it looks hench. My heart's just stop thinking about it like but I know I need to do it for the people Craig give the people all they want you ask way too much of me <laughs> this is your idea Amy found this she's like oh this would be wicked it would be wicked she'll though. get there she'll have shaky legs she'll have diarrhea <laughs> <laughs> it's true though it's true Okay, so we're up. I'm absolutely starving, um, and we need to get some internet because we need to sort out places to stay and uh, clear kayaks and things like that, other things to do in our Nido. So um, let's get some breakfast, but more importantly, let's get some coffee. Shape that gammy leg. That is a spectacular leg crank. Well, don't fall out of a hammock, kids. It's so sore. Every time I go in the, in the sea, in the salt water, I'm like, you are Carl Klutz, aren't you? Yes, I am. And the rest are dedicated to mosquito bites. You still fancy me, yeah? No, you're munting. <laughs> so this, I'm guessing that these are all the boats, literally all the boats that leave from this point to go on the, uh, the island hopping tours, like A, B, C and D. It's quite a lot of them. They basically said that, that this I think the El Nido went on Lonely Planet as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world and ever since then it exploded into like everybody needs to come here so these island hopping tours were invented and so what these companies do is some of them decided oh if we go out a bit earlier then we'll beat the crowds and then other people were like if we go out a bit later then we'll beat the crowds and we'll be in a different beach but they end up just all clashing and end up in the same place anyway at the same time so. yeah And so the mission starts to try and find breakfast. She found the bakery. She's going ham. And there's a fresh tray of donuts. Look out. That bakery just got battered. What did you get? banana bread and some normal bread and then um, something that I don't really know what it is. But what was I'll, the damage? I'm gonna try it. How much do we get breakfast for? Four pounds, both of us. Lots of fruit and lots of cake. cake basically. <laughs> okay, so we found ourselves a little rooftop just up some stairs from where we were eating breakfast. So we fly in the drone. All the way up these, this dodgy panel. Craig's obviously got the best seat in the house. Please don't snap, please don't snap. Okay, so this is what's happening. So if you don't know anything about El Nido, they do like four different tours, A, B, C and D. And I think A and C are the most popular. That's what people do the most. You can pay more to do private tours. Otherwise it's gonna be about, I'd say there'd be about 15 people on your boat. And I didn't know this, but if you go on tour A, you can't actually swim because there's jellyfish. So you have to rent a kayak. And I think they charge you for that too, which is around 300 pesos when you're on the boat. So just note that, take some money in your pocket. Look how many people are on the beach. What beach is this called, Craig? No idea. This is the beach where they all take off. 
there are all there's loads of them The battery was low on the drone, so it's beeping away and it's saying that it's going to land itself. So we're just intrigued to see if it will or not. Is it, you think it will? Like, like you do, he says. Ah, oh, good stuff. Do you always stay so calm when it starts beeping like that? Because it's, it's an intelligent drone, it knows what it's doing. I'm like, especially now I've, I've had coffee, I'm flapping. I'm like, I'll catch it, I'll get it, wherever it's gonna go, I'll get it, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> as soon as it beeped, then we command the rolled off the roof and she was like, I'm ready to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> we got some wicked shots though, the views are there, amazing. It, oh, we look, don't like, even... look at that backdrop there, like, just look at that. We're on the rooftop here, and look, absolutely incredible. I can't wait to go out. We don't need to do a tour now, the drone's just shown us, shown it for us. So. <laughs> okay, so we are leaving this room. We said before, we've got a great tip for you. Book one night and if it's just at all, then you can leave. But sometimes you book one night and it's not too bad in a great location and then they're fully booked. Yeah, only in like the more popular places like El Nido, I probably don't do that. So uh, we gotta go. We've got another place and we've just booked for three nights to save us messing about. What you got on there, kid? Why does it look so brown? Shut up. Another top tip for travellers, don't bring anything white. Especially, if it's going to cost you 30 quid in top shop and you're just going to leave it. I should probably just leave it. Yeah, the same colour as that mozzie net, which has been there since 62. It is a bit of a mess. Shape you. Do you even know where we're going now? Yeah, it's just around the corner, I'm just double checking. What's happening? So we checked out, we're all like, right, let's get this show on the road. We need to go, we need to change rooms, etc. Turned up at the hostel, hotel, guest house, pension house. And they're like, oh, your room's not ready for two hours. So we're like, I've got to I'm hot and bothered, quick. Can you tell us? Someone take this kid off me today. So we're just in like a little cafe, getting an iced tea and an iced coffee. Coffee's for Craig. Because just thinking about this zip line is giving me palpitations. Shit in the air. Yes. Do you know how long it is? No. Do you know how high it is? No. I don't want to know. It's big. Line. You right there, buddy? This one in the rule book, Craig. Go on, leave it without me. This is Francis, our tricycle driver, who's like, I will take you to the zip line. What a guy. Wait. And he hit the deck. So it's about 10 minutes from El Nido and a little bumpy road in a tricycle. Cost us 100 pesos. Now you gotta walk through the jungle. It is hot today, so hot. So, uh, let's go see where, what's happening. Amy's bricking her. This should be all right. She's done zip lines before. Stop sign number two. How long, Francis? Two minutes here. Two minutes, okay. Woo! Three minutes. Three minutes, okay. Oh, this is a beast. How are we doing, kid? You still alive? Tell them, Craig, tell them our pledge to the Kickstarter if they want to get an escalator. <laughs> Come on, get a move on. Hello, Hello. how are Hello. you? Take a seat. Go over there. Okay. Take some rest. <laughs> tell them, Mark Francis. How are you doing? I'm alright, how are you doing? You look a bit grey there, kid. This is how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I went up and took pictures, so I know like how high it is and stuff. I don't know, Greg. <laughs> oh, there's more people. Maybe they can go first. 
Nice and tight now. No, 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 carry on, carry on. <laughs> Sorry. Picture lang ka na. Ganyan na scrap din. Down na condition is rotating do not reach the landing site if you get stuck don't panic someone's coming to get you we have a technical stop down there okay next okay. front like yeah. this okay yeah. always okay. like that okay okay, okay. okay. like that okay. Okay. Ready. Ready. ready one two three ah! We're alive, we made it. <laughs> oh my nan, please come to the Philippines and please do this zip line. Mad scene. That was incredible. It was so high, like you could just see straight down on top of these giant palm trees, straight over the water. We stopped quite far in as well. We still had about 20, 30 meters to go. So we had to get rescued by two of the guys. But the guy was like, it happens all the time. Like, if you don't reach the end, then just stay there. Don't do anything. My guys will come and get you, which they did. But he proper launched us, though. <laughs> he did, did you, throw like... us really hard. I was like, yeah, I'm really scared. You know, my, my nerves, I feel my heart was going and everything. And he was like, you ready? <laughs> Whomp! Like, proper threw us out. That, made, <laughs> that was a bit scarier than what I wanted. But um, awesome. You're looking, you can see everything, the whole bay. Like, the, the water, it changes colour from, like, clear to like an aqua blue to deep blue oh it's amazing beautiful and then the cliffs as well just you can see 360 degree view of palawan the top of palawan and it's just i mean look at the look at that behind we're on like a little sandbar <laughs> right now aren't we yeah so we you have to trek so we ended up here so we ended up here and we have to check down it's like a really steep ladder that comes down and you walk across this water here and i'm guessing just back up here yeah. like 500 pesos cheap as you like to do that it takes about what, a minute and a half yeah recommend it so good that was amazing wasn't it? but i would recommend not to take any selfie sticks or anything if you can help it and just look at the view because uh as soon as i press go sd card error oh wicked thanks for that okay so we're back and we're now able to check into our room they are taking our bags in for us as well, so we didn't have to carry them up. There's lovely. We needed that, didn't we? Absolutely sweating. Wow. How is it? It's uh, big. I can't open the door. Why can't I open the door? The oh, it's massive. Absolutely massive, Craig. <laughs> Cheap as you like. Well, en suite. Tell me. What can you say? Can't go wrong. Who goes in there and goes, right, I'm going to paint it like a neon fluorescent yellow. Lovely. That'll do. Take me home, country road. Dropping an album, 2017. I wouldn't buy it. I am shattered, Craig. <laughs> I'm so tired. Shaking that head. But now we need to eat because we came home. We were so tired that we ate like a bread roll and it was this big. We had one each. This room is no bigger than Harry Potter's room under the stairs. There's a fan on me. If you fart, that's going straight in my mouth. Tactical Guffin. You, honestly, when that hits me, you're going to get a slap in the face. It's banned. Banned in this room. Banned in this cupboard. Okay? Okay. <laughs> what have you done now? 
I really wanted to draw my eyebrows on. What have you done? This room's too small. We've just had a glitter explosion in my bag. What have you got glitter? We're, we're travelling, we're not going to a fancy dress party. It's a spice up your life, isn't it? Whenever you feel like it. Oh, you've got a glittery mozzy net. Oh you? my god. Everywhere. Full pot as well. Oh wow. Don't sprinkle it everywhere. It's kidding, honestly. Best part about this hostel. It's a giant mirror. Hey man! There isn't one at all, is there? Always waiting for this one. What are you doing now? Well, yesterday when we were eating, I took a proper crunch out my lip. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I was so hungry. I just. You tried to ate eat it. yourself. Pretty you really are starving. So, um, just a bit of Vaseline there. Stop laughing about them again. What's this doing by here? Just chucked it on the floor, did you? This place is very brown. Needs big letter. It's a sour. Yeah. The food was just bloody delicious. Always delivering in that place. So we've come down, I'm not quite sure what this beach is called. Any ideas? It's the one where all the boats go from. So Still, El Nido Beach, why yeah. not? The main El Nido Beach. So we come down here to catch the sunset and get some footage and have a little swim because we're so cold we can't even breathe what Amy is anyway. I could probably eat another three. How nice is this? So relaxing, we've been in for a dip. Sunset's here, spectacular mate. It didn't, it didn't go down from this side. So we're gonna go to the actual beach where it goes down tomorrow. And What's I can... that one called that we were at earlier? Las Cabanas Beach. That one. That might be the first time I've ever had a fact, Craig. A fact? It's that, it's, that's the name, that's a fact. <laughs> that's not. Oh, that's yeah. a fact. So after our super exciting day, we're going to head to an internet cafe to plan our trip to Thailand. Because we're such last minute Larrys, but we've had some incredibly exciting news. When we go to Thailand, we are going to be working with a Thai airline. Can I get a hill? Yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be working with Nok Air, so they're going to give us some flights, but we need to tell them our plan. And they're probably thinking, why are they still not told us? It's about two weeks till we go. Yeah, there's about 11 days, but um, we don't know what to do, <laughs> basically. We've been to Thailand before, we did the islands and we did a bit of Kanchanaburi, a bit of Bangkok. But uh, what's there when we get there, that last, the water fight thing? Songkran. Songkran, yeah. Songkran's there when we're going to be there, which is awesome. So we're hoping to stay in Bangkok for that. But then, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do. So we're going to do some research. If you've got any ideas, any tips on where we have to go, if you've been and you're like, this is the best place I've ever been. Recommend it to us, let us know, and then maybe we can put it in. So that is it for today's vlog. So if you're brand spanking you, thanks so much for hanging around with us, and please click subscribe. And always be king in it, guys. Make sure you king it in everyday life, in crazy life, if you go and traveling, if you're at home and you're working. Just, just do it for your country, okay? And remember, always rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye.